Hi guys, it's your favorite male from the Queen City of the South and your self-proclaimed face of Cebu Drag. And for today, we are going to be reacting to episode 2 of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 9. But before that, please do not forget to follow me in all of my social media accounts. What are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and watch the episode. I love this dress, Angeria! Oh, yes, plastic. <laughs> Yes, you! Yes, you! We should have just started singing Happy Birthday. The baby don't know what's happening. We should just take her to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> she is fun. Most I'm of the time, I cannot day. understand what Vanjie is saying. I feel that Nina is definitely one of the competition, the fierce competition in this season. So, yeah, if I were to win that lip sync, which didn't happen during my season and my episode. <laughs> But if ever, I will definitely also choose Nina. She is so good. She is tough competition, girl. Ooh! <laughs> hide, Angie, hide! <laughs> and Jiria is no fool. She did, I think, the big move. It took my breath away. Right. But and it takes a whole lot of guts to do that. And Angie actually did it. So props to you, Angie. I'm not really sure if I will be able to do that or if I have enough courage to do that to any of my sisters. But you never know, especially if you're in that moment and you are pressured to choose then you have to be real. We have to be real, right? Well, I'll just still get the money and help somebody. Oh, damn. Well, I'm just saying. Ooh. Now I gotta be in the shop again. <laughs> <laughs> you need to. What you throw out into the universe, it's like a boomerang. It'll come right back at you. So she better watch out. Mm -hmm. And I do believe in karma. If you know, you know. <laughs> Would you like me to take off? My bra? <laughs> Would you like me to take off my bra? <gasps> I'm not wearing any. <laughs> I feel so sickening with the gold badge on. I'm like, yes. Oh, it's better. It's Flaunt bad. those badges. Oh! oh my God. Bonjour, Bruno. Ooh, honey. Because for this week's Nazi challenge, we are throwing ourselves a ball. <gasps> not just any ball. We are throwing the paintball. Oh! First look, category is monochromatica. Ooh! Ooh. Express yourself in a shade of your choice. And I do notice some shady queens up in here. Mm -hmm. Second look, category is Drag imitates art. Ooh. A look inspired by a famous work of art. Drag is already art, but this inspired by a famous work of art? I'm excited to see what these queens have to offer. And the third look. Category is paintball eleganza. Hand painted for the gods. Oh my god, it's a design challenge! <gasps> Ooh. I'm not really sure if I would be able to nail a design challenge, but who knows? I feel that I'm creative. Honestly, this is also the very first time that I did a browless mug, a browless moment. What do you guys think? I hope this is Ovikant approved. Well, it's like one of the most major challenges of the whole season. And I'm known for being a fashion Ooh. diva. I can pump a look out. Yes, she is definitely one of the fashion queens in her street. Bow down to you, got Nick. But we're working with paint here, and it's very easy for these outfits to look messy. Ooh, mm -hmm. I'm just hoping that every fashion god in the universe can be with me on this child. I don't know what that's good. Which reminds me, this coming June 15th, we will have a pride show together with my sister, Matilda. 
and Mix Chanel, and of course, some of my Sabuana drag sisters and daughters. I have something planned for that night. So if ever you're in Cebu, go watch our show, June 15th. Follow me and Sabuana Drag on Instagram for more details. I hope you enjoyed your one challenge win, baby. <laughs> <laughs> These queens are not backing and down. It's totally frustrating. I can't get no badge. What are you making? A three-piece suit. No, you're not. Well, like a you can make a three-piece suit. I'm making a big coat, wide legs, and a bodice. And mind you, for Drag Race, I really prepared for Drag Race. I bought my own sewing machine, watched a lot of sewing tutorials on YouTube, and some of the things that I wore during my shows or even the ones that I brought to Drag Race Philippines, I actually made. This entrance look, I actually made. No, I didn't sew. That ain't my foyer. What are you talking about oh foyer? <laughs> How about you? Is sewing your forte? Come on, spill the tea. Oh! Honestly, our class was like my only group of friends. I remember when I was little, I used to draw paper dolls. I'm not really sure if you guys can relate, but remember the time that we fold like a bond paper in half and then that would be the clothes of your, the paper doll? I used to do that. Have you guys tried that? For the younger generations nowadays, I know you guys have the Barbies and whatnot, but during our time, girl, we have to do it on our own, like literally make paper dolls by ourselves. I super love it because it molded and trained me to be the creative person I am today. Very thankful for those experiences. Hey, Roxy. Yeah, baby. Roxy. What's up, baby? Roxy. Yeah, baby. Come here real quick. Now serving number seven. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me, what's the next stage on this machine? I, I can't help you, oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Angeria. I spend half of the year decorating my home for a gigantic <gasps> Christmas Whoa. party that hundreds and hundreds of people attend every year. Oh my God! My it's like Christmas you, land. I was designing my house for Christmas. After all of those things, I was ready to take my own life. You know, this thing is really real. Some people go through that. I too have, you know, suicidal tendencies, but I'm very thankful that my coping mechanisms are strong enough for me to still live my life up until now but for some people it's a challenge so i'm just hopeful for the best for everyone you know what don't be afraid to try new things because you never know what you might discover within yourself i like to try new things and i surprise myself every single time and i didn't know that there are things that i'm able to do that i'm capable of doing and it's so fun it's very fulfilling at the end of the day that you are able to achieve something which you haven't done before go out there explore discover and surprise yourself you are greater than you think growing up asian and then being thrown in mostly a white school. You get bullied for where you're from, you get bullied because you can't speak English properly. So I wasn't healthy, I didn't love myself. And I can totally relate to that one. You know, when you're being thrown to an environment that you're not yet comfortable in, just like in Drag Race, everything was so new to me. All of that was my first. Like me flying out to Manila for a competition, me being in front of cameras, and me competing alongside very talented queens and popular queens for that matter. It's nerve wracking, especially that you are there alone. It's really no joke. Sometimes we really need to take risks because if we don't take risks, then we won't be able to learn. We won't be able to grow. Go ahead, take a risk. I said, bitch, I'm taking this position on eBay. What the fuck is eBay? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Fun fact, I actually used to work for eBay before in my previous company. <laughs> and 
And so yes. what made you decide to play for the animals? I've always been an animal lover, even when I was younger. It kind of give you that unconditional love. Yeah, give you that unconditional mm -hmm. love. I'm a fur dad. Oh, wait. I'm a fur mom myself. <laughs> I have two dogs, Princess and Jack. Princess is a mini pincher and Jack is a dachshund. They're so cute. I love them. I would like to say that I'm an art fan from a Monet to a Mondrian or a Basquiat or a Herring. I could keep naming artists, but can the bitch paint? <laughs> she sure can't. You've seen my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm making a backup. Oh, really? a bad backup. I just didn't feel like it was coming out the way I wanted. I just Ooh. can't be up the creek without a paddle. So she was on my side and you weren't. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> She'd be very excited to find out what amazing friends we are now. <laughs> I do not have a finished top for the white bra will go so perfectly with it. I hope it's enough for the judges to live and love it. How are you feeling about your outfit? I'm scared yeah, for Georges. Uh -huh. The thing is, though, everyone has different taste levels. Oh! oh. oh. Damn, that's Ooh, idea. plastique! Ah, Ooh, let's go, Mama Roo! I love. Welcome to the paintball. Canberra is monochromatica. Up first, Angeria. Ooh, the hair. I actually don't know what it's giving me. I love the style of the hair. I love this neon green, lime green number. Although I'm not quite sure if I'm feeling this. Up next, Chanel. <laughs> it was no accident. No. I love the details of the shoulder, the hair is cohesive to the outfit. This is cute. Next, Roxy Andrews. Oh, she is on fire. Yes, Roxy. I love this red number. I love the intricate design. I love the hair. It's just simple. It's giving me goddess of fire love I think she's part of Ooh, the <laughs> and sexy <gasps> oh my god this is bomb i love this it's so fierce it's so current i love this it's so street chic love up next nina west two in the pink Oh, this is a private screening. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this giant pink triangle hat, and it has a reveal. Oh, 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 oh yes, Nina. <laughs> oh my God, I love this number. It's, it's a mixture of two eras in one. Up next, Miss Vanjie in Michelle Green. Oh, oh nice okay, wait. <laughs> I'm wearing a little hoochie mama dress from a look that I've seen of Michelle. Oh my god. This is cute. Although I was wanting more, but this is cute. It's really giving us Michelle vibes. I see what you're doing there, Vanji. I see what you're doing. Michelle, don't you hate it when they come out with a new model? <laughs> <laughs> Up next, Plastique <gasps> in Gamal Crimson. Oh my god. The artistry of this outfit mixed with Asian elegance. I love this. It's just so simple. There are no stones. Love the cuts. I love the hat. It ties everything together. Girl, this is fire. This is super hot. Yes, Plastic. Yes. Georges in Kush Green. Oh, wait. This dress is illegal. <laughs> but oh my god, this is cute. It's giving me Tinkerbell, but a baddie. Oh, Twinkerbell. Yeah. <laughs> dope. Category is Drag Imitate Art. Up first, Angeria, Paris Van Michaels. Inspired by <gasps> Mondrian. Oh. Yes, Angie. Color blocking at its like finest. Only woman right now, bitch. <gasps> oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, this is 
elegant. I love it, Chanel. I love this. Up next, Roxy Andrews, inspired by Salvador Dali. You know where she oh. likes to go on vacation? Where? Dollywood. Ah. What I'm not really liking about this outfit because everything is super nice. I'm not really into the middle part. It's not giving me shape. I think the proportion is a little bit off, but everything else is like, yes. Oh, oh my God. Give me some time to bask how great how wonderful this masterpiece is we are so privileged to be seeing this on the main stage yes got mick i am referencing the scream by edward monk in a balenciaga inspired dress oh the scream always rises i wonder how heavy <laughs> did it, this is up next nina west inspired by Tom of Finland. Ooh. Hello, Nina West Village. So okay. crazy. It's giving me a mixture of masculinity and femininity at the same time. I like the play there, but compared to the other queens, this is a little bit underwhelming, to be honest. I'm not really sure what's going on on the neckline. I love the hair, but everything else is like, Miss mm. Vanjie. Inspired by an artist called Van Gogh. Okay, so this is inspired by Starry Starry Night. Honestly, I'm not seeing the resemblance to the artwork. You know that the presentation is really good when you don't need to explain it. But if I'm looking at this one and you're not going to tell me that this is inspired by that art piece, I wouldn't know that it was inspired by that art piece. Get what I mean? Next, Plastique Tiara. Ooh, this is interesting, Plastique. Something different from what we normally see from Plastique. I love how it hugs the body and it gives us that full skirt. Love it. Hey, can anyone spot Plastique? And the you wig girl, it. yes. No. Up next, Georges. Inspired. Ooh. Picasso. Wait, so I love the outfit i'm not really sure about the makeup though i want more georges i want more Ooh, let's see what the queens Category have made Eleganza. Up first, Angeria, oh Paris, we're here we're sheer get used to it good decision angeria i love this outfit i would have wanted some stones in it but this is already enough I like this. This is cute. Up next, Chanel. Oh! Yes! Chanel! I love the burst of colors. Although the colors are a little bit muted, but I love this one. I love the intricate design to the dress. It's giving me warrior-esque. I love this one. It's cute. Up next, Roxy Andrews. Ooh! This is what happens when you don't separate your whites. Yes, mama! It's giving me boss. I love it. Up next, got Mick. Come on, girl. Put some mace in that wall. Ooh. Like that. I like this one. Although, I don't know if it's going to sit well with my branding, but this one is cute. It's definitely punk rock. I love the slit on the side with some strings. And then the artwork on the back, I love. And then the wig choice. Yes, yes, yes. Up next, Nina West. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, I see what you did there, Nina. It's giving me crafty, but good effort, Nina. Yeah, eat that. I was literal with the fucking competition, mama. Cram it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with the Delulu. Yes, pageant queen. Yes, Miss Vanjie. Cute. Well, oh, I look sexy. I stand corrected. It's the Puerto Rican flag. Sorry about that. Don't bash me. I'm just human. Oh! Wait. Same expression, Michelle. Oh my 
god. I'm serving a hand painted a stone dress with a long ass 20 foot train covered in cherry blossom. Oh my god. Plastique. I love this. This is giving me inspiration what to do with the white dress that I have. Hmm. Up next, Georges. What's up, bro? Georges, I love you. You're cute. I love the effort of what you did to the cloth. Although, overall, mm, I'm not really sure. I'm not quite there yet with this outfit. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Now, based on your three paintball runway presentation. Wait, who do you think are our top two for this episode? It's so hard. Hmm. I have three plastic tiara, um, Roxy, and Gottmik. So with those three, hmm, I am going to stick with Gottmik and Plastic. There, I said it. The top two all stars of the week are Plastic. <gasps> Thank you. And Gottmik. Yes. Told you! Okay, Lock and don't. Fuck it up. Okay, I believe you. Wait, wait. This is a lip sync and I'm waiting for something to happen and I'm not seeing it yet. Girls, wake up. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, I <laughs> Yes! I'm gonna give it to Gutmik. Ladies, I've made my decision. Gutmik, congratulations. You're a winner, baby. <laughs> Queens, please join Gutmik on stage. Woo! I hope Gutmik would choose the right queen to cut because we never know what's going to happen on the next episode. So, Gutmik, good luck. <laughs> Gutmik. With great power comes great responsibility. Which sister will you scissor? Angeria. Oh! Oh my god. Sorry, Angeria. Well, you know, being on top has its cons as well. You will definitely be one of the targets for the next episode. So you would really need to do everything so that you would secure top two and not be in the bottom where you have the possibility of getting sorry angie how's it feel girl you can compete you might even win you ain't gonna get no beautiful beneficiaries babe you ain't gotta rub it in <laughs> Yourself, how the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Can I get an amen up in here? Amen. amen. All right, so that's it for episode two. What did you guys think about the episode, and what did you guys think about my reaction? First and foremost, I would like to thank everyone who liked and shared their thoughts on my previous video thank you so much i really appreciate it and i would appreciate it more if you would give me more feedback because honestly i am learning a whole lot from you guys so thank you so much for your comments and keep them coming by the way before i go i would like to thank my subwana drag sister Neil, aka Miss Ashley Minho, for letting me borrow this uh, oversized black blazer. Thank you so much. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it, comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I have a new video. Until the next episode, I will see you guys. Love you.